Hello everyone, the Nerd Mary here, and in this video we will learn the difference between the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So pharmaco, the word pharmaco means drug, and kinetic means whatever the body does to the drug, what our body does to the drug. Whereas pharmacodynamics means whatever the drug does to the body, right? So the action of drug on the body is discussed in pharmacodynamics and the action of body on the drug, how the body responds to the drug is discussed in pharmacokinetics. So these are the two head, broad headings under which we learn the pharmacology of different drugs. Now, for example, over here we have a pill and let us see what happens when we ingest this pill, right? So whenever we ingest this pill, that, that is known as administration, right? Now, administration can be of different ways. There are different routes of administration, like you can take a pill, you can get an injection, you can get an IV, so on and so forth. But for today's discussion, we will take an oral route of administration, right? So after a pill or a drug is administered that goes through the GI tract in our system and in the GI tract, is it goes down and down and down. And finally, from the intestines or from the stomach or from different parts of the GIT, the drug gets absorbed in the portal circulation. Now, then it goes to the liver and in liver, it undergoes something known as the first pass metabolism. First pass metabolism. In this first pass metabolism, either the drug gets activated from its inactive form or sometimes uh, a fraction of the drug gets deactivated, right? So after that, from the liver, the drug enters the systemic circulation and from systemic circulation, the drug either remains majorly in the blood flow or it goes into the tissue space, right? Now on this, whether the drug is going to the tissue or remaining in the blood flow is determined by something known as volume of distribution. To learn about volume of distribution, check the video in the I button and, uh, and in the description box below. After that, the drug that goes into the tissue after performing its action, it comes back from the tissue back again into the blood. So the drug going into the tissue is known as distribution, right? So that is known as distribution of drug. After that, the drug, when the drug comes again back to the blood, that is known as redistribution. Redistribution. Right. And from the blood, this drug is then taken up by liver to break it down. It again goes into the liver and again metabolism occurs. The liver breaks the drug down into water soluble form and from liver, the drug is converted into a water soluble form and again goes into the kidneys for excretion. Right. So if we have to summarize what happened over here, let us see what happens. We, t we give the, we gave the drug in an oral route. Now, after giving the drug in the oral route, the drug got ab absorbed. Right. After absorption, the drug went into systemic circulation. Right. After that, the drug went for distribution and redistribution. After distribution and redistribution, the drug again went back to systemic circulation. From systemic circulation, the drug went to liver for deactivation or metabolism and then to the kidneys or GIT through which these are going to be excreted out. Excretion. Right. Some drugs after getting absorbed, go to the liver first for metabolism and then go to systemic circulation. This is known as first pass metabolism. We will discuss that in detail in the subsequent videos. Right. Now, when the drug gets distributed, after getting distributed, the drug that is in the tissue uh, performs its effect. It performs its effect. And after that, it again gets redistributed, right? So this is what happened in this diagram that I tried to show you over here. Now let us understand what part of it is chemical, I mean, pharmacokinetics and what part is pharmacodynamics, right? So over here, if you have to see, let us highlight few portions over here. Now this part, absorption, distribution and redistribution, then metabolism and excretion. These four things, let me mark these things with numbers. One, two, three, and four. 
absorption, distribution, redistribution, metabolism and excretion. This part is known as pharmacokinetics. Right. Whereas this part, where the drug performed its effect, this part is known as the pharmacodynamics. Where the drug performs certain effect on the human body. So this is the difference between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. So in the uh, demonstration, if we go and try to find out where we have our pharmacodynamics, so somewhere over here, we will have our pharmacodynamics. Right. So this is going to be our pharmacodynamics over somewhere over here. And if we are supposed to find out the pharmacokinetics, then the pharmacokinetics is in the entire process of the drug delivery that we followed. The entire process of drug distribution going into the liver, circulation, then going into the kidney and excretion. This entire thing is pharmacokinetics. Now on, whenever we will be discussing about any drug, we will be discussing about its pharmacokinetics and its pharmacodynamics. And whenever we talk about pharmacokinetics, we discuss it under four headings, that is absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. Right. In the subsequent videos, we will delve in details of the pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and different drugs. So I believe in this video, you have understood clearly the difference between pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers of medical school and college. And by any chance, if you are new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon and select the option of all so that you never ever miss a video from my channel. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.